Hey guys, it is me again. Okay, I was kind of waiting for my <clears throat> pop-up to come up and tell me I didn't have any audio, but it didn't do it. Kind of threw me off my game. Today is uh, Tuesday, right, I believe. Tuesday, August 2nd, I believe. Shows you how whacked out I stay, guys. I don't even know what day it is half the time. But I think it's Tuesday, the 2nd. So we're going at anyway. That makes it day 214 on the Project Serve and more. Guys, um, I do appreciate you being here. It's, it's good to have you here another night. Uh, and I do thank you guys for being here. I really do. So, uh, I hope everybody, uh, everybody's doing all right tonight. I don't know why, guys. Just things just, this seems like they hit y'all at one time, you know. Like just now, that's the reason I seem a little bit distant here. Just as soon as I started making this video, I started, th th things started hitting me. Um, I don't know, just things that, I don't know, that shouldn't. Um, just pray for me, guys. Uh, like I've told you, when we got our camper for sale, we really need to sell that thing bad. Um, I mean, that may, may be the difference in us making it through the winter or not. Uh, I always like to go into winter with a little bit of money put up to try to get us through it. And uh, I just don't have that right now. You know, normally this time of year I do. Uh, and that's, you know, I'm not going to lie about that. It's kind of scaring me, you know. Uh, if we could sell our camper, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. So just pray for, for, for me, guys. Pray that we can sell that camper. Uh, we don't use it. We've not used it. I think mom and dad's been there once in two years, you know. With my aunt being sick and everything, she she won't go, and because she won't go, mom won't go, and you know, so uh, we really do. We just need to sell it. So everybody, just pray that we can sell that thing. We've got a real estate agent that's got it trying to sell it. Uh, I'm going to maybe in the next few days put it on Craigslist or something like that. I don't know, so. Uh, just pray for me, guys, that we can do that. We can sell that. Because, you know, going into winter here, and you know, we're almost into September. You know, it costs me about 600 bucks a month just in fuel oil to heat my garage, not including the crazy electricity bills. And, when, you know, and the thing about it is these things go up, my business gets worse. And so I'm sitting here making less money and having to pay higher bills. Uh, so it gets tough. I mean, I'd be honest about it. I dread winter bad. Uh, to be honest about it, I'm kind of half joking, but I, I'm not too. I was hoping the Lord would come back before this winter, because uh, I just be honest, last winter done me in so bad. I, I just don't know if I can go through another one. Uh, like I said, between the the snow, you know, it was cold and snowed and snowed and snowed and snowed, and, snowed and um, you know. Between all that and our business being bad and the power bills ha being higher than they've ever been. And they're saying right now that our power company is going to raise our rates again. They already raised them 17%, I think. They're saying they're going to get like another 10 or something like that, maybe even more. Uh, I don't know. They're 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 going to starve the poor man to death uh, paying for this energy. But anyway, guys, like I said, just pray for me. Pray that we can sell that camper and... and uh, well, Dad's wanting to sell our Ram Charger too, our work truck. He's wanting to. He, but if we sell it, we're going to take the money that we get from it and buy another vehicle back. So you know, we're not really going to make anything on that, or you know, get to put anything up. But just pray that we can do these things, guys. And I, I know that you will. Um, sorry for getting this into late, guys. I've just I've been out there playing with the TIG welder. Uh, I actually had to weld a four wheeler rear end up this evening with it. Uh, I mean, I could have done it with a MIG welder, MIG welder that we use at the shop. Actually, we got three MIG welders at the shop. Two of them are broke down, of course, right now. Only one of them works. But uh, anyway, I figured it'd be a good, you know, good practice and good, you know, TIG welding. You can just be so much more precise. I don't, you know, know how many of you guys know much about welding, but so anyway. This axle was stripped out in this ring gear on this four wheeler, and I hate doing something like this. You know, welding a, a, an axle solid into the ring gear, you know, not the right way to fix it. You're supposed to put a new axle in it. 
but this had already been broke and welded once, and their weld just came loose. And we tore it apart, and this guy said, if it's been welded and it's broke, weld it back up. I mean, he didn't even want to talk about buying a new axle and everything. So I said, okay, if it's, if it's been welded and broke, we'll weld it back up. So uh, anyway, I TIG welded it, and uh turned out pretty good. Uh, I mean, I've not, you know, I've not pure got the hang of it yet, but uh, I'm going to order me a welding table from Northern probably. I think they've got welding tables for like 79, 79 bucks. Uh, I'm going to order me a welding table. Uh, it's hard to TIG weld on the floor. But anyway, guys, uh, let's get to it this evening. John chapter 8, starting in verse 1. Here we go. Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again to the temple. And all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? This they say attempting him, that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground, as though he heard them not. You know, this is one of them deals that, uh, you know, everybody tries to figure out or tries to imagine what Jesus drew or what, it, you know, with his finger. But that's just something nobody knows. So when they continued asking him, and I, you know, I don't think they would have put it in here if it didn't have some kind of relevance. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him cast, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? Anyway, guys, that's where we're going to stop. Now let's do one Let's do one more. It's a good place to stop. She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. See, that's the important one, guys, right there that Jesus told her. Go and sin no more. You know, which, you know, that's the thing about it. None of us can be perfect. Uh, you know, even when we're saved, we we don't become perfect. You know, we're still going to sin. Uh, like my grandpa used to say, was a, you know, he was an old Pentecostal preacher. Uh, Mom said he used to say that, that if we were capable of not sinning, even after we're saved, then Jesus, you know, if it was even possible for a human to be sinless, Jesus wouldn't have to come and die for us because we could just strive to be sinless, and some of us could. So, uh, but, you know, you got to take the point from this. you got to say, Jesus, you know, this woman knew that Jesus had, had, had saved her right there, literally, literally, and, and figuratively both saved her. And, uh, you know, he, he wanted to say, go sin no more. You know, it means... Uh, you gotta repent. You gotta turn from your, your sinful ways. Uh, are you still gonna mess up? Are you still gonna sin from time to time? Yeah, you, yeah, you are. Uh, none of us are perfect. Uh, we all lie. We all look with lust. We all worship some kind of idol. I mean, we all do that from time to time. We let it slip. We let you know. We let this the taste of this earth get to us. Uh, we just have to do it. You know, when we're saved, when we do it, we'll be convicted of it. The Holy Spirit will convict us. That's one of its jobs. Uh, and we'll repent of it. And we'll do it. We'll try with everything that's in us not to do it again. That's the difference. Before, we just do it with reckless abandon and just go on. We don't care. That's the difference. And that's what Jesus is telling us. So anyway, guys, thanks for being here, like I said. Um, hope somebody got something out of this tonight. Uh, Anyway, I figured some of you may be wondering why my last few videos I've been doing with the TV off. Uh, since my videos are monetized now, I just kind of figured that maybe just the TV playing in the background that YouTube may want to kick them, you know, because, you know, you're playing something on there that, you know, that you don't own the copyright to or something. I don't know if they would or not, but I didn't want to take any chances because it says if you're, 
if there's something wrong with your video that they won't that they don't monetize it, if you apply to be monetized, like if it's got some kind of copyright problem or something, they just take it from off YouTube. You know, they just don't say, well, no, we're just we're just not gonna put an ad on this one. They take it from off YouTube. So I didn't want to take any chances on getting my video janked. So that's what it is. But anyway, guys, thanks for being here. Uh, I love you guys. I really, really do. Uh, if any of you guys need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, keep praying for me, guys. Uh, your prayers have been working. My prayers, you know, Lord hears our prayers. Uh, I mean, it's still not no boomer week, but so far this week, in just two days, we've brought in almost as much money as we did all of last week. So it's a lot better. Uh, so I just... Uh, of course, school school starts back tomorrow. Uh, and I don't know school school starting back usually usually hurts us quite a bit. So just keep praying for me, guys. I know we'll make it with the help of the Lord and with uh, the prayers of a uh, you know the fervent prayers of a righteous man. You know, availeth much. It gets a lot done. So I thank you guys for doing that. I love you guys. Like I said, uh, good Lord willing, I'll be back here tomorrow night. So till I see you guys again. Good night. God bless.